Hey, what's up guys? Just Pushy and welcome back to another One Piece deck profile. Today I am joined by uh, one of the world's greatest Yu-Gi-Oh players, Rafael Nevin. Hello. Uh, and <laughs> now he proved to be like a pretty decent One Piece player this weekend because like he won this uh, this stuff. He didn't win the category, but like the, <laughs> <laughs> the Marco and the sleeves. And because he made top 32 at the uh, 1000 people Dreamhack event, Treasure Cup. Um, yeah, with Katakuri. Uh, Rafael, uh, take it away, I guess. I, okay, I, so I played this deck because I didn't have much time to test, so I didn't play the skillful deck like Sakazuki. And this is definitely the second most powerful deck and way easier to play. Uh, shout out to Matthijs for lending me the fancy Katakuri, so I didn't have to play the common one. I feel you. And uh, let's go to the uh, four searchers. Yeah. Putting uh, only free Gadatsu. I had to make space for the fourth Shiroshi. I think that it, I'm a Yu Gi Oh player, so like a graceful charity is just insane. And I wanted to uh, give that priority. Also, this card is a lot of times it's just dead. We were discussing like against Saka, do you have to like not attack the first time so then they summon Uzan and you can kill it so they're still on four life? But uh, the consensus in the car was that you should just attack because it is more pressure later on in the game. But that means this card can also almost never kill something in Sakazuki matchup. And then the other decks, Enel is for life. You can sometimes still kill like the, the Hollies and stuff. Yeah. But it's a lot, a lot less strong right now in this meta. And the Luffy deck also puts itself under less life as well. So uh, this card is, is fine, but it's not like as insane as it could be uh, in a different format. So a lot of 2k counters. So this poison, I also went 5-1 in the chopper event just now. Uh, these I changed for the chopper event. This was a third category 8 cost and a uh, fourth Amaru. But I was missing a bit of counter power, so I, I put these in and they were really good as well. So this is the updated list. Uh, triggers, well, Peril is Peril, the best one of course. Uh, uh, and then for Shiroshi of course, like, Insane. Very, what do you want from me? Insane. Uh, you should definitely play that card, Sanji. And then for the events, uh, free Amaru. Uh, so I played four in the main event, um, and I think free is, is perfect. It's for uh, Very insane card. Uh, helps you kill them. Uh, four Thunderbolts. And then for the, the big drops. Tell me about this card. Best card. Be best <laughs> big drop. Because you can do so much after you drop this. It's so much pressure as well. They, they almost every every deck has to give you a life. And then you can still attack for, uh, attack for seven, and then use like your two dawn for like a thunderbolt or an amaru, like. Um, and also, it makes your going first like matchup really good as well because you, of course you have Paris Peril, and then the turn after you can just swing seven seven or seven eight, and then the turn after you summon this because you have four. You, you most of the time if you have, if you're forced to go first, you're going to see it. Um, so definitely four four was perfect for me, and then two category. So I was playing three in the main event. Um, that might have been a bit much because I was missing counter power and it is a lot of long counters so I put it back to two and it was uh, fine and then for a big moment. Sick. That was the list. Uh, oh. Shout out to uh, Matthijs, Joshua, uh, Ruben, uh, Nathan, Jeremy, Jeremy uh, yeah, all the Belgian people Kenny. Uh, and uh, Ryan Fletcher who uh, of course. hyped me up on, uh, on the Facebook. Um, so, right, you went 8 2 in the main event, got tur 30th? 30th, okay. yeah, yeah. So, I, my, my losses were uh, Purple Luffy, which was quite a hard matchup. It was very close. Like, I would have won with like uh, 1000 extra counter. And I lost the Katakuri mi uh, mirror because uh, I'm not skillful enough in that mirror. <laughs> so, in top 32, I played against Sakazuki. Um, that one was hard, uh, although I think I could have won if. if I was a little, so I had four life and he went for game, basically, which was wild to me. In, in the most insane way as well. And if any of my four life were either a, a Sanji or just any 2k counter, I would have won that game. But like, if he played it out correctly, in my opinion, and just killed one of my big moms as some of the blocker, I think in the long run he would have won, but we will never know. Yeah. But he went for game and I just didn't get anything. I had nine cards and good to counter anything. So that's how that went. Uh, and then I went, yeah, I went 5-1 in the chopper, just lost the final two. Purple Luffy again. So. Ah, yeah, just a bad matchup, right? It's quite, yeah, Miguel is very, very rough. Yeah. Right, any uh, less words, Rob? Uh, shout out to my friends. Uh, One Piece is great, uh, but we'll see how long I'll keep playing it. Uh, so see everyone in Utrecht. All right, thanks so much, Rafael. See you in the next one. Bye. You have to wave. You have to wave. Yay!